Welcome back to the C++ tutorial. Today we're going to ask the user for a year and we're going to check if it's a leap year or not. So a leap year is divisible by 4 and if it's like a century or 1700, 1800, 1900, it must be evenly divisible by 400. For example, 1712 is a leap year because it's divisible by 4 and then 1913 is not a leap year. So first we're going to need a variable. We can say int year. It's just going to be any variable and the name is going to be year and it's going to be of type integer. So we could say cn Year. That way we could ask the user for some user input. Now that we have user input, we could check. We could use an if statement to check if it's going to be a leap year or not. We could say if year modulus 4 equal equals 0, it's going to be a leap year. So what modulus does, it checks, it sees if we have a remainder. If there's no remainder, if the remainder is 0, that means it divides equally. And then we can check also if it's a century year. If it's a century year, we have to check if it goes in equally by 400. So let's do that. So let's see, we could say if year, the modulus thing again, 100, not equal to zero. That's what we're saying if it's, um, we're checking if it's like a century year. If it's not a century year and it goes equal and it divides equally by four, then it's a leap year. So we have to check one more condition. If it is a century year, we have to check if it divides equally by 400. So we could say if year modulus 400 is equal to 0, then it's also a leap year. And then we could say see out year is a leap year. And then we'll end it with the new line. And then we could say if it's not a leap year, there's only one other case. The other case is else it's not a leap year. We get copy and paste this year is not a leap year and that should be it this is not a very hard assignment pretty we're pretty much done let's just run it and see how we do so let's try 1712 should be a leap year is a leap year let's try 1913 that shouldn't be a leap it's not a leap year let's try 1600 1600 is a leap year but it's also a century year let's see if that works 1600 is a century is a century year which is also a leap year and i think we're pretty much done if this helped you in any way or you just enjoyed watching leave a like and subscribe